Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Robinson and we're going to continue talking about pro proportions but this time it's going to be dealing with scale drawings. So scale drawings is our topic so let's get to our student outcomes. We hope the students to understand that a scale drawing is either a reduction or enlargement of a two-dimensional picture. Students compare the scale drawing picture with the original picture and determine if the scale drawing is a reduction or an enlargement. Students match points and figures in one picture with the points and figure of another picture. Our definitions are scale drawing. It's a representation of an actual object. The key idea you should get is the scale drawing is a reduced or enlarged two-dimensional drawing of an original two-dimensional drawing. A, the scale is a ratio. Is the, the scale of the drawing is a ratio. Remember, ratio is a fraction that compares the length of the drawing to the actual object. So that's going to be important for us today. Note, the dimensions of the scale drawing are, proportion, are in proportion to the actual object. So the scale drawing is in proportion, meaning equal fractions, to the actual objects. So when you get your scale, you're going to be comparing it. So let's take a look at some questions. Rashawn went to visit the Great Pyramids. He learned that the base length of each of the triangular faces is about 750 feet. He wants to make a scale drawing of the pyramids using the scale one inch equal to 150 feet. What will be the base, base length of his scale drawing? So we know that here's the pyramid and in actuality it's 750 feet. That's the base of that. Rashawn is going to make a drawing of his own. And his drawing is going to be so many inches. We don't know how many inches. So we'll call that X. But his scale that he's using is going to be one inch of his drawing, sorry, one inch of his drawing is going to be equal to let's get a fraction bar there one inch of his drawing is going to be equal to put an equal sign 150 feet so we got Ray Sean's drawing and one inch is equal to 150 feet. So we know the base of the pyramid is 750 feet so we have to see how much is that going to be in inches that he's going to draw. So we know how to solve our proportion, cross multiply and divide. So I have it set this way, 1 over 150. It's okay if I set it this way. 1 inch equals 150 feet. How many inches equals 750 feet? So I'll have 150x equals 750 times 1, which is 750. When I divide both sides by 150, I'm going to get x is equal to 5 inches. So either way you set up, you would still get the same answer x equal 5 inches. So Rayshawn's drawing is going to be 5 inches approximately. Let's look at another question. Maria made a scale drawing of an elephant. So here's an elephant. What is the actual length of the elephant? What's important to know, we have a picture of the elephant and we see the picture that Maria drew. It's a length of 1.5 inches and now the scale which is the ratio of which we were going to set to a proportion is going to be equal to for every one quarter of an inch is equal to two 
feet. You think you can figure that, that out by setting up your proportion? One fourth inch equal to two feet. So 1.5 inch equals how many feet of the elephant? So I'll give you a couple of seconds to figure it out. Okay, let's take a look. Here's the setup. As we mentioned, one fourth inch is equal to two feet. So the height of the elephant that Maria drew is 1.5 inches. So we need to know how many feet is that actually going to be. Well, we cross multiply one fourth times x is one fourth x, two times 1.5. That'll give us 3. So 1 fourth x equals 3. Divide both sides by 1 fourth. And I'll have 3 divided by 1 fourth. Remember, I multiply instead of divide. I use the reciprocal of 1 fourth, which is 4 over 1. So I'll have 3 times 4 over 1. And 4 over 1 is really another way of saying 4, because we don't have to have the 1 there. And that'll give us 12 feet which is how actually tall this elephant really, or how long this elephant really is. Nice job if you got 12 feet. So check your understanding. See if you understand it so far. If you don't, rewind the tape and write down questions, and I'll be glad to answer them. Here's where we'll pick up tomorrow with the poster of the Riverfront Green campground. And we want to determine what's the actual distance between the lake over here and the tent over here. So there's a scale and there's a distance right here. So see if you can figure that out. Here's an interesting question. It's a drawing. Is the second drawing a reduction or an enlargement? What is the constant of proportionality? So we have two charts here. Here's a drawing. The original looks like a big rectangle. And here's a second rectangle. Looks a little smaller. So that's the original and that's the drawing. The original drawing was 18 units in height. So it goes up from the bottom all the way up to 18 and the length is six units so it goes from looks like seven all the way to 13. here's the second drawing it's nine units high so it goes from up here up to nine and three units in length so from seven to ten so what do you think the constants of proportionality is that's a very good question so that's where we're going to continue. So check it out. We're going to talk more about this tomorrow. So write down your questions. If you are, want to watch the video tape again, go right ahead. I'll be glad to answer any questions that you have. So till next time, this is Dr. Robinson. Thank you very much.